Central Vermont Career Center Awards Ceremony. We want to thank Leanne and Jen from Van Crow Integrated sorry, Interpreting Services for their assistance this evening. I am Jody Emerson, the director of the Central Vermont Career Center. As many of you know, this was my first year here, and what an exciting year to be at CVCC. Thanks to the voters from across our sending school regions, we will be our own independent school district as of July 1. We have accomplished so much together in the past year, and I look forward to what we will achieve in the years ahead. In addition to becoming our own school district, supported by a board of reps of our sending region, we are adding two new opportunities for students. Advanced Emergency Services Paramedics in collaboration with Vermont Technical College, and Design and Fabrication, which is, includes a stone arts program in collaboration with the Vermont Granite Museum, Norwich University, and Vermont Technical College. It is so exciting to partner with college and industry as this allows our students to truly be career ready. The students before you are leaving this evening with several industry recognized credentials, college credits, and or an opportunity to sit for a state licensure exam. Our students have worked very hard to get to where they are today. Although I'm sure we are all ready for summer, it is difficult to send you on your way, just as it is difficult to say farewell to some amazing staff who are headed off to new challenges. Thank you, Dr. Griggs, for over 20 years of service to the Career Center and the Barry Unified Union School District. Enjoy your time in retirement and with your family. Good luck to Matthew Bingeno and Amanda Garland as you head off new career paths. <laughs> to Sarah Capron, who has found her way back to teaching at Barry City Elementary. And Clifton Long, I know you'll be inspiring plumbing and heating students in Essex as you continue your work there. Best wishes to Jennifer Luck Hill as she returns to her passion of library media specialist, joining the Waits River Valley School staff. And thank you to Julia Pellegrino, who stepped in when we needed her and did a wonderful job. In addition, I'd like to recognize students who took part in hiring committees this year, including Mellis, Felix, Maka, and Samantha. Thank you so much for helping us fill those positions. For those of you who will return to us next year, whether faculty or student, I look forward to continuing to work with you. For those students who have completed your high school requirements, many of you are heading straight into industry, the one you've been trained for. Some of you are headed to college for additional training. Some of you are headed into military service. And others of you have not fully determined your next step. You will take all that you have learned thus far and apply it in so many ways as you move forward. Take a deep breath. Take a bit of time, set your goals, work hard to achieve them, and if you have the chance to chase down your dreams, do it. If this pandemic has taught us anything, it's that anything can and will change. It'll take flexibility and persistence to continue making progress. Appreciate all that you have, the support of the loved ones around you, those who are here today, those who are supporting you from afar, and those who have yet to come into your life. Your life is ahead of you. While you can reflect on the past and learn from it, don't spend time being hard on yourself for the mistakes or missteps you have made. Those are what have and will continue to make you who you are. Instead, be proud of what you have accomplished so far and set your sights on your next goal. You truly can do anything you set your mind to. And finally, always remember, you can never go wrong with kindness. I would like to welcome all of you to take a look around. The Central Vermont Career Center receives students from surrounding districts spanning many square miles. There are students and families represented here from Cabot High School, Danville High School, Harwood Union High School, Montpelier High School, Northfield Middle High School, Randolph Union High School, Spalding High School, Twinfield Union School, 
U32 Middle and High School, Websterville Baptist Christian School, Williamstown Middle and High School, and several home study students and families. Thank you all for making the CBCC learning community possible. At this time, I would like to introduce our MC for the evening, Assistant Director Dr. Griggs. Thank you, Jody. Good evening, everyone. As I finish my 21st and final year at Central Vermont Career Center, I leave at a time when the value of career technical education has never been greater. A time when the skills and knowledge gained, the credentials and credits earned, open up ever expanding possibilities. I am personally grateful for the privilege of a career in education and for those I have had the opportunity to work with in support of students. I leave knowing what an honor it has been to be a part of their lives to hopefully in some small way have made a positive impact on many. To families, friends, industry partners, and our greater community, we thank you for your support. We thank you for being here, for the part that you have played in the success of this group that we honor tonight. To the students of Central Vermont Career Center, you have chosen to go above and beyond a traditional high school experience, applying knowledge, building skills, growing individually and together. Each of you has reason to hold your head high, to take pride in how far you have come. We are all here to celebrate you. At this time, I would like to invite our first student speaker to the stage, Kirsten Wells. Why CVCC? An ever-occurring part of being a part of a CVCC student is the constant questioning by students and adults as to why CVCC is worth attending. I wish I could stand up here and give everyone who has ever asked me this question a definite answer or a canned answer, but I cannot. I can only give people insight about my experience at CVCC, one that is unique yet among other students common. I think CVCC is worth attending for many reasons. For instance, I have made lasting friendships and connections with teachers and staff that I feel will last a lifetime. Between friends and teachers, I truly feel more supported than I have ever had in another school. CVCC also has given me a better understanding of a job and career opportunities. As a class, we have looked into each program such as in exploratory technology, we look in all the other programs and we get to go on job experiences. I stand up here truly believing that I found an education that works, an education that I love. I stand up here as I can tell everyone that CVCC is definitely worth attending. I have been told by so many people in my class and in others that this is an education that they have received that will last a lifetime. The most fun they have had in learning in schools their whole life the most creative classrooms that they have experienced, the most motivated they have ever been to learn. That CVCC is a place of learning they will remember for years. I know I will. Thank you. Thank you, Kirsten. We will begin our celebration this evening by presenting a number of our outstanding students with awards generously donated by community organizations, businesses, and individuals who recognize the value of a solid technical education and who want to encourage our students as they further their studies or begin their technical careers next year. First award, Golden Wrench Award, this award is presented by the Vermont Automotive Enthusiasts to an outstanding junior in the Automotive Technology Program. 
This junior shows excellent workplace skills and craftsmanship both in and out of the shop. The award consists of over $1,000 worth of tools and scholarships. This year's award winner, Ismail Cruz, was presented prior to tonight's event. Congratulations, Izzy. The RK Miles Award. This award is for a student of the trades. The student will receive a donation of tools for the trade of choice worth over $160. Will the student of Co-op Electrical Technology, Maxwell Spaulding, please come forward. Ms. Emerson will present Max with a Tools of the Trade gift. Congratulations, Max. <laughs> Bulldog Metal and Recycling. This award, named the You Crushed It Award, is for either a plumbing, electrical, or building trade student. Will the uh, student of co-op building trades, Keegan Stevens, please come forward. Ms. Emerson will present Keegan with a $250 check from Bulldog Metal and Recycling. Congratulations, Keegan. <laughs> Kingsbury Companies. This award is to be given to a deserving student who will be able to select a tool of their trade with a value of $300 plus. Will the student of Co-op Plumbing and Heating, Ned McCarthy, please come forward. Ms. Emerson will present Ned with a letter as Kingsbury Companies would like to be able to present Ned with a tool of his choice at their company location. Congratulations, Ned. <laughs> Rock of Ages Corporation. This award is being presented to a deserving student who has worked hard in their chosen program this year. Would Digital Media Arts II student Elias Manriquez please come forward? Ms. Emerson will present Elias with a check in the amount of $250. Congratulations, Elias. I would like to invite Mr. Mark McCarthy to come to the stage. Lenny's Shoe and Apparel Incorporated. This is the first of two awards in the form of gift cards being given by Lenny's Shoe and Apparel to purchase on-the-job clothing and footwear. Each is to be given to one student in the plumbing and heating program or co-op with a grade point average of 3.0 or better. Will the student of co-op plumbing and heating program, Samuel Wilcox, please come forward. <laughs> Mr. Mark McCarthy of Lenny Shoe and Apparel will present Sam with a $500 gift card. Congratulations, Sam. The second gift card given by Lenny Shoe and Apparel is also to purchase on-the-job clothing and footwear for a student in the plumbing and heating program or co-op with a grade point average of 3.0 or better. Will the student of plumbing and heating co-op, Ryan Glassford, please come forward. <laughs> Mr. McCarthy is presenting Ryan with a $1,000 gift card. Congratulations, Ryan. The Lisa P. Donahue Award. This award goes out to honor the legacy of Lisa Donahue, who was a fierce businesswoman in a male-dominated field. It is being presented to female, two female youth students in non-traditional programs who have fully completed their programs with a grade point average of 3.0 or higher and must have shown leadership skills. Will the student of the plumbing and heating program, Madison Lantain, and the student of the building trades program, Cadence Mori, please come forward.
Ms. Marie Renita Marshall of the Helping Hands F Foundation and Mr. Greg Donahue will present each of these young women with a check for $500. <laughs> Madison overcame any and all additional challenges which may face My apologies. I need to read my notes. Hello, I'm Renita Marshall, president and founder of the Renita Marshall Helping Hands Foundation. Standing with me is Lisa Donahue's husband, Greg. Greg and I are honored to recognize these students who epitomize Lisa's career and heart. As said, Lisa was a fierce businesswoman who started a traffic control business on her own working in a male-dominated field and not only financially succeeded, but earned the respect of the entire industry for her strong work ethic. Her compassion and leadership skills were outstanding. She was your biggest cheerleader and her own worst critic, always wanting to do more. She was a giver, always supporting the work of our foundation and many other charitable organizations. Sadly, we lost Lisa on January 1, 2020. Thomas Wilder said it's hard to turn the page when you know someone won't be in the next chapter, but the story must go on. Thank you for being in the next chapters. For these reasons that I have outlined, and Scott did, um, it's our pleasure to recognize these two winners of the Lisa P. Donahue Award. Madison was the received the highest score ever on the apprenticeship exam and will be joining the National Life Facilities Management Team after graduation as an intern. She sets a superior example for future non-traditional students and in fact, all students. Cadence has always shown a positive attitude and enthusiasm to learn and shown excellent leadership skills. She led several projects throughout the year and was described as a young woman who will be a powerhouse in whatever she does. Congratulations to these young women. Please keep Lisa's spirit in your heart and I know that you will reach all of your goals. Thank you. Mitchell Tease and Design. Will the student in the Digital Media Arts 2, Elias Manriquez, please come forward. <laughs> Ms. Emerson will present Elias with a $250 check for Mitchell's Mitchell Tease and Design for the great effort he put forth in this, this year in the program. Congrats, Elias. Snowbees Scholarship Award. Mr. Stephen Avery, Snowbees president, would like to present the following award of $500 to a student pursuing a career in the automotive or diesel industry. Would co-op automotive technology student Austin Blaze please come forward? Congratulations, Austin. <laughs> Washington Electric Cooperative Incorporated Award. Will co-op electrical technology student Caleb Lampson, Lampson, please come forward. <laughs> Ms. Emerson will present Caleb with a $500 Washington Electric Cooperative Incorporated Award for his outstanding effort as a co-op student this year. Congratulations, Caleb. Melvin and Maria McKnight Scholarship Award. Will medical profession student Zoe Barbero Menzel please come forward? <laughs> Zoe is be being presented with a $500 McKnight Scholarship Award in appreciation of her hard work this school year. Congratulations, Zoe.
Will Emergency Services Co-op student Jillian Bajoli please come forward? <laughs> the American Legion Auxiliary is the world's largest women's patriotic service organization. Through its nearly 10,500 units located in every state and some foreign countries, the Auxiliary embodies the spirit of America that has prevailed through war and peace. Along with the American Legion, it solidly stands behind America and her ideals. Maria McKnight, representative of the American Legion Auxiliary, has presented Jillian with a $1,000 American Legion Auxiliary Unit 10 scholarship. Congratulations, Jillian. <laughs> American Legion Barry Post Number 10. The American Legion places a high priority on honoring and remembering those who have dedicated their lives to keeping our nation safe. This award is a tribute to that de dedication. Members of the American Legion take pride in their legacy of military service. They have made a noble commitment to serve and protect all Americans. We all truly appreciate their bravery, courage, and sacrifice. The scholarships are being presented in memory of Henry Chase, and the American Legion Post 10. Wood Emergency Services Co-op student Jillian Bajoli again please come forward. <laughs> the American Legion believes that more students will continue their education if they are given a helping hand through the splendid cooperation and support of the entire American Legion Department of Vermont membership this scholarship program has been made possible. Mr. Melvin McKnight, representative of the American Legion, has presented Jillian with a $500 American Legion Unit 10 scholarship. Congratulations, Jillian. <laughs> North Country Community Credit Union. Four students will receive an award of $500 each in recognition of their accomplishments in each of their chosen programs. Would Co-op Baking and Art Baking and Culinary Arts students Greer Peliquin and Magera Gomes and Building and Building Trades student Keegan Stevens and Cosmetology One student Jordan Lamb, please come forward. <laughs> Ms. Emerson is presenting each one with a five hundred dollar check. Congratulations, Greer, Magera, Keegan, and Jordan. Barry Kiwanis Club Award. Will Plumbing and Heating Co-op student Zachary Slayton please come forward. <laughs> the name Kiwanis means we trade or we share our talents and was coined from an, Indi an American Indian expression, Nunc Kiwanis. This was originally the motto of Kiwanis, translated as we build. The current motto is serving the children of the world. Representative Randy Trice has presented Zachary with a $1,000 Barry Kiwanis Club Scholarship. Congratulations, Zachary. <laughs> Waterbury Rotary Club. Would co-op plumbing and heating student Tanner Woodard and co-op electrical technology student Caleb Lampson please come forward. Ms. Emerson is presenting both of these students with a Tools of the Trade professional tool package from the Waterbury Rotary Club valued at $1,500 each. Congratulations, Tanner and Caleb. <laughs> Moutois Secorso Club. Will Leland Kennedy of Co-op Building Trades and Nicholas Pierce of Automotive Technology please come forward. Ms. Emerson will present Leland and Nick, each with $1,500 Mutua Secorso Club scholarships. These awards are given to college-bound students in honor of their hard work and who exemplify the Italian-American spirit. Congratulations, Leland and Nick. <laughs> the Abilio Amore Jr. 
Memorial Scholarship. Mr. Amore's long and distinguished career in the machine trade industry exemplified the value of technical and career training and education. He began his training with the National Youth Administration in Quaddy, Maine, and later worked at the Cone Automatic Machine Company in Windsor, Vermont. In 1943, during the Second World War, he enlisted in the United States Navy and worked as an aviation machinist, repairing and testing aircraft engines. After the war, Mr. Amore returned to Barrie, where he spent many years working on equipment used in the granite industry. First at Lane Manufacturing Company in Montpelier, and later at Rock of Ages and Trial and Holden Companies in Barrie. He also worked for the Sprague Electric Company in Barrie as a machinist and tool and die maker. Mr. Amore retired in 1986. This award is given in recognition of the value of persistence in problem solving as was so well demonstrated by Mr. Amore throughout the years in his chosen career field. The recipients of this award, one male and one female, have likewise demonstrated persistence and commitment to achieve uh, academic merit and exemplary skills and are honored today for their accomplishments. Would plumbing and heating co-op student John Malnati and Natural Resources and Sustainability student Lillian Eklund Gustafsson please come forward. <laughs> Ms. Emerson is presenting each of you with a $2,500 scholarship. Congratulations John and Lillian. <laughs> the Milford M. Leonard Scholarships. Milford Leonard lived his life on a farm at the base of Mount Hunger in Middlesex. He was a man who worked well with his hands. He was a master welder and could fix machines of all kinds. At the end of his life, Mr. Leonard had to go into a nursing home and sell his most precious possession, his farm and 200 acres. He had no living relatives and no use for the money. So he decided to give his money to Central Vermont Career Center to set up a scholarship, scholarship fund. He wasn't looking for attention or fame or even to be remembered as a generous person. He just thought there might be a chance that some young people might be able to use the money to fund their dreams. These students have been chosen for the scholarship because they exhibit leadership qualities, made significant achieve achievements in their technical program, have a dedication to their chosen profession, and plan to continue their education through a college accredited institution or tech program. Would the following students please come forward and join Ms. Emerson at the front of the stage. Digital Media Arts II student, Brayden Adams, and Co-op Baking and Culinary, Culinary Arts student, Lacey Green. <laughs> Ms. Emerson is presenting Brayden and Lacey each with $3,500 Milford M. Leonard scholarships. Congratulations, Brayden and Lacey. And congratulations to all students who re received scholarships and awards this evening. <laughs> Skills USA. Skills USA is the student service organization for students enrolled in career and technical center programs. Once per year, they compete statewide to demonstrate their competencies and skills. At this time, I'd like Matthew Bingeno to come forward to recognize these students. So it uh, takes perseverance and dedication to represent a CTE center at SkillsUSA. It's a lot of work. And everyone who represented CVCC this year at SkillsUSA Vermont showed incredible skills in their trade. Truly, all of you did it, you made us proud. It was especially meaningful for all of us to come together after two years of missing Skills USA in person because of COVID. But this year we came together strong and celebrated and uh, took part in 12 different contests. Over 50 of our students participated uh, in either the virtual fall contest or the in-person events at the spring contest. So would all of our Skills USA Vermont members stand up? We are so proud of all of these guys. And the following students earn medals in these Vermont State competitions. 
So if you could stand up and we can recognize you especially and you can stay standing. In advertising design, Charlie McCaffrey won gold medal. <laughs> Galen Abel won the bronze medal. <laughs> In cosmetology, Chelsea Badger won the bronze medal. In digital cinema production, Landon Flood and Elias Manriquez uh, won the gold medal. Manriquez. In job seal demo, Amer Severson won in cosmetology. Uh, that was a gold medal. <laughs> and in photography, Bryce Yauk won the silver medal. And in plumbing and heating, Cole Dizan won the gold medal. And then in TV video, Ty Thornton and Gino Massey won the bronze medal. So in total, that was five gold medals, one silver medal, and four bronze. We are so proud of you guys. Thanks for repping CVCC. And then those five gold medalists you just saw, next week they're going to be flying to Atlanta, Georgia to compete in the National Skills USA competitions, which is absolutely incredible. And we're so excited for them. We wish them the best of luck. Can't wait to hear more about it. And truly, thank you so much for representing us, guys. So congrats, everyone. Good luck at Nationals. Thank you, Mr. Bingeno. At this time, I'd like to introduce Jennifer Luck Hill and Jerry Remore, members of our student leadership team. The student leadership team is made up of one or two representatives from each program. This year, the student leadership team collaborated with Up for Learning, a Montpelier-based organization focused on youth-adult partnerships. The student leaders learned about leadership qualities, decision-making, and communication skills. They surveyed students, teachers, and staff, analyzed the data, then engaged the school community in a dialogue to honor strengths and explore areas of growth. The students worked together to come up with ideas to improve the overall school community and approached the school administration to present ideas for an end of the year activity. The following, the following students are this year's student leaders. Please stand and remain standing when your name is called. Ben Barber, Jordan Lamb, Amara Sievertson, Lillian Martell, Rebecca Thayer, Charlie McCaffrey, Devin Graves, Landon Flood, Arthur LaRose, Colton Perkins, Hannah Grasso, Hannah Ruger, Hongbo Fervor, Madison Henry, Sherry Renz, Mackenzie Putney, Sam Plemons, Mark Cruz Ducharme and Otis Loga. Thank you, student leaders. We're very proud of you. You can sit down. The Outstanding Student Leader Award goes to students who are also members of the student leadership team. This award represents students who have demonstrated strong leadership skills at CVCC, including the initiative to share ideas and take actions, willingness to be in charge of a project, a drive to improve CVCC, and an ability to work well in a team environment. Would Mark Cruz Ducharme and Ben Barber please stand? Mark and Ben have been committed members of the student leadership team. Mark and Ben have been exemplary leaders and role models, stepping up and facilitating meetings with CVCC staff, teachers, administration, and other student leaders to improve adult and student relationships at CVCC. Their efforts have gone above and beyond. Each one will receive a $150 gift card. Thank you, Mark and Ben. Congratulations.
The next part of our program honors the individual achievement of our students in their respective programs. Mastering the skills necessary for any profession or trade requires learning in tools, language, history and theory, tasks, and performance standards. The students we are about to name have completed their program's requirements in these areas and will be recognized for that achievement tonight. In addition, each program recognizes one student of the program and one student to receive a scholar award. The student of the program receives a gift certificate valued at $150, and the scholar award winner receives a gift certificate valued at $100. These certificates will be in the program package you will receive later this evening. At this time, we will ask each program instructor to come and introduce their students. They will also share with us the student and scholar of their programs. I would like to invite automotive technology instructor Stephen McKinstry to come forward with his students. Hello all. Uh, I'd like to take a moment, uh, not only congratulate the automotive class, but to congratulate all of you. Um, as most of you know, the past couple years in schools have not been easy. Um, so I just want to give everyone a round of applause. You made it through, uh, kind of to the end. So. The following students have successfully completed the automotive program. Keenan Alger. Izzy Cruz. LJ Deberville. Landon Farnham. Caleb Hannigan. Jacob Huckins. Garrett Peace, Cam Pierce, Nick Pierce, Jackson Scribner, Kip Walbridge, and Carter Welch. All the students in front of you have successfully passed SP2 Automotive Service Safety Curriculum. Automotive Lift Institute, Lift It Right Safety Certification, Tire Industry Association Tire Service Certification, and the Snap-on 504 Multimeter Certification. The following students have successfully earned a uh, certification in the Automotive Oil Change Association Certified Oil Change. Kip Walbridge and Carter Welch. All the following students have successfully earned the Automotive Service Excellence Maintenance and Light Duty Repair Certification. Izzy Cruz, LJ Deberville, Landon Farnham, Jacob Hutkins, Cam Pierce, Jackson Scribner, Kip Walbridge, and Carter Welch. Scholar of the program. The student strives to do their best on every single assignment. The student has passed all assignments and certifications with near perfect scores. This year's scholar award goes to Kip Walbridge. This student comes into school every day, ready to do what's asked of him. This student has a constant positive attitude and is always ready with a quick joke to make everyone smile. The student is always willing to help anyone do anything, no matter what the job. The student is going to have a great future whenever Dever he decides. Congratulations, Izzy Cruz. Congratulations, Automotive Technology. Would Chef Wendy Clark and Chef Christine McSheffrey please come forward with our baking and culinary arts students. The 
following students have successfully completed the Baking and Culinary Arts program. Benjamin Barber. Brooklyn Bullduke. Merrick Brown. Stephen Deroshi. Chance Emmons. Michaela Gagne. Caleb Green. Duncan Lattimore. <laughs> Evan Levine. Andrea Manchester. Zachary Sherman. Cohen Slayton. Finish now. <laughs> All the baking and culinary arts students earned the following credentials Serve Safe Allergens, SP2 Workplace Kitchen Safety, Serve Safe Unconscious Bias Training. The following students have earned their Serve Safe Food Handlers certification Chance Emmons, Merrick Brown, and Stephen Deroshi. The following students have earned their Serve Safe Manager certification. Ben Barber, Michaela Gagne, Zach Sherman, Evan Levine, Andrea Manchester, Duncan Lattimore, Brooklyn Bullduke, Bullduke <laughs> Caleb Green, Cohen Slayton. Students also worked independently on earning their additional SP2 Human Resources credentials. Oh. Our student of the program is Caleb Green. <laughs> Caleb has consistently and continuously demonstrated a desire to learn, master, and gain knowledge in the baking and culinary arts industry. Caleb has demonstrated professionalism and drive from his first day in the program. He does not hesitate to ask questions to further his own learning and that of his fellow students. Caleb demonstrates leadership abilities with his teamwork skills. His work ethic, acceptance of cr constructive criticism, and consistent presence has made him an invaluable part of our kitchen team this year. Caleb goes above and beyond in his assignments as evident in his thoroughly documented journey through the Baking and Culinary Arts program in his e-portfolio. Congratulations, Caleb. Truth. <laughs> our scholar of the program is uh, Zachary Sherman. Um, what can we say about Zach? Zach, is a, Zach has a high respect for the Bacon and Culinary Arts program, his teammates, and the instructors with a genuine er eagerness to learn. Zach is reliable and dependable in the kitchen. He takes pride in being present, fully prepared, on time, and ready to work each day with a positive attitude. He takes on a true leadership role, excels at tasks, and takes the role of sous chef very seriously, not to mention, Zach is also a naturally talented icer and the creator of one of the best darn steak and cheese sandwiches I've ever tasted. Uh, man, I mean, <laughs> it was a really good sandwich. Um, we are very proud to give this award to Zach Sherman, AKA Sherman, he has earned it. Congratulations, Baking and Culinary Arts. I would like to invite Building Trades instructor Dmitry Kolomitsev and Doug Stightley, lab assistant, to come forward with their students. Hello, everybody. Uh, so the following students have completed the program. Marshall Asia, Aiden Bushy, Robert Kachapaw, Isaac Cooper, Dawson Dowsey, 
Michael Dupont, Caden Luster, Cadence Mori, Jack Murphy, Rain Rogan, a uh, few folks there are missing, William Rush, Liam Strange, Joseph Tucker, and Aiden Vassar. Uh, all of the building trade students have received certification in OSHA 10 and NCCR. Uh, the students of the pro student of the program is Isaac Cooper. At first glance, the quiet student is always first to complete a project, first to start project, and first to be back from break. This student chooses to accept additional work whenever opportunity arises, does not shy from any learning experience and opportunity provided to him. Isaac has work ethic that fits a well-rounded professional that maintains high standards and, and works hard and efficiently to meet deadlines. I see you being a welcome member to our industry. <laughs> Scholar of the program, Rain Rogan. This student always arrives to class with positive and respectful attitude, with a great enthusiasm to learn, always asks questions to provoke extended thinking, and brings the class farther into discussion, driving others to become curious. Rain is a true leader and a team member that holds himself accountable and helps build up the rest of the team. Congratulations, Rain. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Building Trades. I would like to invite Cosmetology One instructor, Christina Courier, to please come forward with her students. Okay. So, the following students have completed year one of Cosmetology. Francesca Barney. Olivia Bloom. Riley Chamberlain. Isabella Forrest. Ellie Graham. Julia Holstrom. Tadence Hood. Jordan Lamb. <laughs> Alicia. Mushinsky, Mushinsky, <laughs> we'll work on it. I'll nail it next year. <laughs> Emma Pearson. Kareth Powers. Amira Stevertson. Maria Supernaut. B. Whitesell. Hector Zinkowski Griffin. All of the Cosmetology One students have earned their certifications in bloodborne pathogens, color design and application, hair design, hair sculpture and cut, men's sculpture and cut, long hair design, perm design, barbicide and barbicide COVID-19 certificates, Shearhaven domestic violence training, client-centered design, science 102 pivot point, wigs, hair and additions, life skills, skin and nail certification, Keratin Complex NKSTB certifications. <sighs> Good job, guys. <laughs> All right. This year's Cosmetology One student of the program is Amira Sievertson. Amira has faced every opportunity that we've given her this year as far as Skills USA, um, student leadership, everything she's taken on with Grace, and she's actually going to be going with us to. Atlanta, Georgia on Monday. <laughs> so good job. She's not here. <laughs> but we'll still clap. All right. And this year, Cosmetology One Scholar of the Program is Olivia Bloom. <laughs> Olivia has been consistent all year. She is early to arrive, last to leave, and always focused. Thank you. I look forward to seeing the work we all do together in the salon next year. Congratula congratulations, Cosmetology One.
Would Cindy McRitchie, Cosmetology II instructor, please come forward with her students? Congratulations, Cosmetology II. You made it through two years with me. That's a feat. Um, and you all have successfully landed jobs when they graduate. Chelsea Badger. Mally Dupre. Grace Marie Isabel. Lillian Martel. Luke Preddy. Riley Reed. Sam Sisley. And Becca Fair. Cosmetology II students earned all the same certifications as Cosmetology I in their first year. In their second year, they finished OSHA 10 certification and will all be completing a Tier 2 IRC state licensing exam on Friday, June 17th. So we wish them luck. <laughs> Student of the program, Riley Reed. Riley is positive and always contributes to the program. She displays personal initiative and has good worth work ethic skills. She is dependable and punctual with attendance and assignments. Definitely a student I would hire. Congratulations, Riley. Scholar of the program, Grace Marie Isabel. Grace comes in every day with a big smile and ready to learn. She's energetic, she never refuses a client, and gives 100%. Congratulations, Grace Marie. Congratulations, Cosmetology 2. Digital Media Arts Level 1. I'd like to invite uh, Matt Bingeno back to the stage, Digital Media Arts 1 instructor, to come forward with his students. Hello again. So, uh, oh yeah. This year has been incredibly special for me. After 10 years of teaching this program, this year will be my last for now, at least, and I couldn't have asked for a better year to commemorate the ways this center has helped me grow and shape me as a teacher, artist, and person. So these students have really shown me incredible creativity, humor, resilience, and skill. And guys, you've all inspired me with your art, your personalities, your energy. Take that energy to make this world a better place, and as you know, never stop creating. So I'll start with Michael Galen Abel. Jared Dodge, not here. Devin Graves. <laughs> Hannah Hallett, not here. Rowan Harple. <laughs> Felix Cadlick. <laughs> Gino Massi. Gotta do that in honor. Charlie McCaffrey. <laughs> Can't be here, but Maka McEwen. Logan McManus Brown, <laughs> Olivia Moran, yeah. Elliot Muller, <laughs> Aiden Salisbury can't be here, as well as Koki Sites can't be here. Next year, though, is Ty Thornton, <laughs> and Bryce Yauk. So many of these students have earned Adobe Certified Associate Certification as well as professional certifications in Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, the software we use. And those students are Ty Thornton, Bryce Yauk, Rowan Harple, Felix Cadlick, Elliot Muller, Koki Seitz, Charlie McCaffrey, Devin Graves, Logan McManus-Brown, and Galen Abel. 
And also, while we worked here, we earned CCV credit. So the following students earned six credits at CCV for their work here. So Ty Thornton, Bryce Yauk, Felix Cadlick, Elliot Muller, Koki Seitz, Charlie McCaffrey, Devin Graves, Logan McManus-Brown, Galen Abel, Hannah Hallett, and Olivia Moran. So uh, next is the student of the program. This student has embodied leadership, skill, perseverance in every way that a student can within the DMA program. This student has offered consistent dedication to their craft and has continuously invested in their own abilities and opportunities as a professional artist. Their efforts as a leader are abundant and there are many contributions they have made to make our school a better place, ensuring that our program has maximized its educational value and created a space of empathy and acceptance within our culture. Ever caring, thoughtful, and intentional, we know that Charlie McCaffrey's path will take them to incredible heights as a student, artist, and human being. So, Charlie McCaffrey, thank you. And our scholar of the program has been a steadfast student, artist, and human being in the program. Their skill and technical abilities shows no ending, and they've shown mastery as a photographer, graphic designer, filmmaker, even a musician. Their genuine sense of caring for their classmates, their school, and the future has made them a wonderful presence. We're forever grateful for this student's talent, humor, and tea poses. Galen, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> scholar of the program. <laughs> Congrats to the whole Digital Media Arts crew, and thank you. Digital Media Arts 2, I would now like to invite Carlos Diaz, the Digital Media Arts instructor, to come forward with his students. I promise I would talk slow. All right, so here we go. Um, <clears throat> the DMA2 program students have gone through intensive training this year. Students earned certifications in DaVinci Resolve Color, Correction, Editing, LUT Applications, and Mastering Color. We have worked with community partners, including but not limited to farmers, museums, theater programs to produce content. These students are ready for the future that awaits them. I cannot be more proud of, the, of each and every one of my students. <clears throat> so with that, I present Braden Adams. <laughs> Gwen Cummings, who is not here today. Landon Flood. <laughs> and Elias. Manriquez. <clears throat> so um, um, next I would like to present um, student of the program. So I like to call this student um, my rock, right? Because, um, because we in the classroom throughout the whole year really depended on him in many ways and he was always steadfast and he would always, always, always say yes and help us. He is hardworking talented and motivated. We really expect great things from you, Braden Adams. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and then um, the scholar of the program, um, this student can be called a talented artist never stops creating and holds so many gifts inside as a creator. I can't wait to see you reach your full potential and she is not here today and her name is Gwen Cummings. <laughs> and finally but not least, I would like to thank the Jack and Dorothy Found Byrne Foundation who has generously given these students what we like to call tools of the trade for your Vermont for your Vermont State Gold Medals in Skills USA Cinema Competition, 
and as your motivator for your national competitions next week. Each one will receive a Mac Mini for all your future creations. And it goes off out to Landon Flood and Elias Manriquez. <laughs> and although we haven't received the computers yet because they're on their way, I did print it out for them <laughs> as an IOU. All right, thank you. Test, test, and we're back. Pay no attention to the stage move. Congratulations once again, Digital Media Arts 2. <laughs> Would Brandon Morris, our electrical technology instructor, and his students please come forward? students have uh, successfully completed the electrical technologies program um, first off is Ethan Codling <laughs> Phineas Gad uh, Jacob Lamphere Arthur LaRose Timothy McHugh Ruben Menser Mason Otis Mason Perry, Kyle Pecor, Colton Perkins, Charlie Seitz, Hayden Sicily, Gage, you're good. Gage Simpson, Noah Touchette, Colin Van Ness, and Zachary Wilson. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> um, all students have completed their certifications. They got 300 hours towards their apprenticeship. Um, they also completed the OSHA 10 learning. They completed the NCCER core curriculum. Um, the following students have passed the electrical apprenticeship level one test and have received certifications of completion in their packets through the state of Vermont. Um, these following students are Jacob Lamphere, Arthur LaRose, Timothy McHugh, Ruben Menser, Mason Otis, Mason Perry, Kyle Pecor, Colton Perkins, Charlie Seitz, Hayden Sicily, Colin Van Ness, and Zach Wilson. Um, Unfortunately, the student for the student of the program is not here. It is Colin Van Ness. Colin, while in the program, jumped into the role as an electrician and grew while in and outside of the program, uh, creating the future pathway for himself. Not even a month in school, he took on a job at Bolt Electric and can, uh, plans to continue on. The scholar of the program is Tim McHugh. <laughs> Tim is very motivated and takes initiative to get more work done. He shows great leadership and offers assistance to his peers. He will be a great future employee to have. Tim has also um, taken on a role to intern for the state of Vermont in the co-op program next year.
congratulations, Electrical Technology. I would like to invite instructor Carl Madison to please come forward with the emergency services students. So the emergency services program prepares students to enter the workforce as emergency medical technicians in other health care areas or pursue post-secondary education. An excellent emergency services worker must possess strong willingness to aid others in their time of need. Uh, the following students have completed the emergency services program. Abigail Dowsey, who's not here this evening. Aiden Forsyth. <coughs> Hannah Grasso, yeah, Hannah! Haley Melton, <laughs> Colby Six Rivers, who is not here tonight, Hannah Ruger, <laughs> Elizabeth Schumacher, <laughs> and Jack Whalen. All emergency services students uh, must be willing to study and train hard in the business of saving lives. Entering the emergency service fields means lifelong learning. All participants must be honest, enthusiastic, self-motivated, and willing to learn. He or she must be responsible and dependable and competent. All of the EMS students earn certifications in OSHA 10, bloodborne pathogens, uh, HIPAA training certification, uh, basic life support CPR, uh, FEMA incident command credentials, hazardous, ma hazardous materials awareness, and Vermont Department of Human Services mandated reporter training. There are several students who have completed and earned their national certification as EMTs. Those students are um, Aiden Forsyth, Hannah Grasso, Elizabeth Schumacher, and Jack Whalen. The, rema <coughs> and the remainder of the students are in the process of completing that certification exam. I'm not done, am I? <laughs> student of the program. <clears throat> this student has been a standout leader in the emergency services program. She is an extremely motivated and, con and is continually looking for ways to improve herself. She is always, without prompting, motivating her classmates to do their best work. She is always willing to work with and mentor her classmates or those who are visiting the classroom. Uh, she has been part of the studi student leadership and attended the fall and spring HOSA leadership conferences. As one of the top students um, who has a passion and wants to pursue a career in emergency medical services field, she was accepted into the new second year EMS program for her senior year. Beyond her excelling academically, Hannah Grasso worked uh, two jobs, plays field hockey at her sending school, um, Hannah exemplifies someone who would make a great emergency medical service provider and has the makings for a successful career um, in her future. <clears throat> Scholar of the program. Uh, this student is an, is an outstanding student who stands out in many ways. Uh, they perform very well in class and continually take the initiative to improve themselves. They are, re they are ready and prepared every day uh, when class begins. They're always, without prompting, willing to help her classmates and anyone else that's um, as well. Wow. Um, they also take initiative to work with and mentor others who are visiting the classroom. Academically, um, they are one of the top students in the class as well. As a top and motivated student, um, they are were also accepted into the second year EMS program. Um, and Elizabeth Schumacher exemplifies someone who would make an excellent emergency medical service provider and will be very successful in anything that she does in the future. Congratulations, emergency services. I would like to invite Tim Hammond and Stephanie Olson, exploratory technology instructors, to come forward with their students. Oh. 
following students have completed Expo. Paige Belial. Hunter Belial. Or sorry, Parker. That's his brother. Had his brother too. Wyatt Bisson. Cameron Braden. Jordan Farr. Hungbo Ferber. Mila Gelsonen. Tyler Glassford. Mellis Coge, Haley Grant, and Josh Hartman. Dylan Hopped. <laughs> Madison Henry. Christopher Herring. Avery Knight. Stephanie Constantine, Aiden Orr, Isaiah Perry, who's not here, Titus Stevens, Jack Touchette, and Kirsten Wills. All students in the Exploratory Technology Program receive their certification in OSHA 10. All right, so our student of the program is Bo. Bo is a positive influence in our class. He's always more than happy to help his classmates. He completes each project with quality work and takes leadership role in our class and, throughout stu and through student leadership. Bo will do a fantastic job in electrical technology next year. Bo, I'm going to miss your sarcasm, and you're, you got it anytime I ask. Yep. First scholar of the program, Kirsten Wills, come on down. <laughs> Kirsten has, oh, okay, good. Oh. Kirsten has been a positive role model in our class. She goes above and beyond in her projects in all of her classwork. She was is always the first one to help her peers with whatever is needed. She stays focused all year round and always works towards her goals in the baking and culinary program. She is going to do a phenomenal job next year for baking and, and culinary. Congratulations, Exploratory Tech. Medical professions. Unfortunately, Dr. Geneve Joslin, medical professions instructor was unable to attend our program tonight. It's our pleasure to invite Mr. Spencer Kelly. <laughs> to sub for her tonight. Please come forward with Dr. Joslyn's students. Thank you. So, all of the following students have passed medical professions. Zoe Barbero Menzel. <laughs> Madison Landron. Kai Lutz. Mackenzie Putney. Cheryl Renz. Asia Russell. And Abigail Violet. Students earned the following certifications. American Heart Association, First Aid and Basic Life Support Certification, OSHA 10 Certification, Governor's Career Readiness Certification, three college credits from the Community College of Vermont for Introduction to Healthcare, three college credits from the Community College of Vermont for Human Biology, all students successfully completed the National Healthcare Association Approved Certified Clinical Medical Assisting Training Program. The, yep, come on. <laughs> <laughs> the student of the program, Asia Russell.
Asia has been a leader in professionalism in medical professions all year. Asia is kind, inclusive, hardworking, and patient. Asia has such good boundaries with her phone that Geneve didn't even know she had one until almost quarter three. <laughs> Asia is an inspiration to all of us in the depth she experiences life and the presence she brings to all that she does. She is grounded and intentional about all that she does. Asia submitted high quality work and demonstrated excellence in her clinical skills. Asia has been accepted and will be attending the Governor's Institute this summer with a focus in neuroscience and psychology and will be returning to the CVC next year for the Emergency Services Program. Congratulations, Asia. And the scholar of the program, Zoe Barbero Menzel. Zoe is highly motivated to do her best work and inspires others to bring excellence to everything they do. Zoe consistently turned in high quality work on time throughout the year. She demonstrated that she can maintain excellence in both clinical and academic skills under pressure, which is a very important piece in healthcare. Zoe was always willing to help her classmates, her college coursework, labor laboratory grades, clinical exams, and papers were all exemplary. Zoe has started this week at the, CV at the Central Vermont Medical Center Hospital as a medical assistant and has successfully passed her National Healthcare Association Certified Clinical Metal Assisting Exam. To earn her CMA professional license, Zoe, you have a bright future and we look forward to seeing all that you accomplish. Congratulations, MedPro. Congratulations, MedPro, and thank you, Spencer. Natural Resources and Sustainability. I'd like to invite Amanda Garland, Natural Resources and Sustainability Instructor, to come forward with her students. Thank you. So all of these students have completed the Natural Resources and Sustainability Program. Madison Vadic. Lillian Eklund Gustafson. <laughs> Caleb Huntington. <laughs> Izzy Jackson. <laughs> Otis Loga. <laughs> Ty Perkins. <laughs> Samantha Plemons. <laughs> Alex Poulin. <laughs> and Gavin Wilder. All students have completed their training in OSHA 10 and Wilderness First Aid. The following students earned the Game of Logging safety, safety, uh, Chainsaw Safety Certification. Madison Babick, Lillian Eklund Gustafson, Izzy Jackson, Otis Loga, and Alex Poulin. <laughs> Our student of the program is Lillian Eklund Gustafson. Lily has brought to our team a dedication to service and learning. As a leader on projects that promote food security and social justice, Lily has made an impact on her community and her teammates. She is creative, smart, and dedicated to experiencing all that life has to offer through setting ambitious goals and persevering through any challenges. Lily has started her career as a park ranger, where no doubt she will continue to grow and share her love for the outdoors with others. And our scholar of the program is Izzy Jackson. <laughs> uh, Izzy can be seen reading books on the bus, writing and producing a documentary about environmental issues, or leading the class in lessons as wide ranging as Latin root words to how to build a tree house. Izzy's dedication to academic excellence was contagious. She moved us forward in all our learning and kept me on my toes. Uh, thank you all for all the excellent conversations and ideas you brought to our class. 
Um, she's taken off for a backpacking trip to Iceland this summer, so congratulations, Izzy. Congratulations, Natural Resources. I would like to invite Clifton Long, Plumbing and Heating Program Instructor, to come forward with his students. So uh, currently in Vermont, plumbing and heating is a wide open field for entry level employees. Just ask anyone who has tried to get a plumber and they can confirm that there are real shortages of workers which make this a terrific career choice for this year's graduates. In fact, all seniors and all of next year's co-op students have already found employment. This marks my eighth year as the plumbing and heating teacher and it has been a truly excellent experience. Each year I've asked students to take more responsibility for their education and this year was a true partnership and learning between me and the students. I had two second year students, Jackson Bailey Perkins and Josh Sains, and they showed tremendous maturity and competence in assisting my teaching. Teaching this year has been an absolute pleasure and I want to extend my sincere thanks to my students and to their families. I'm tremendously proud of the fine young men and the woman in my program and you can all be proud of them too. The graduates this year are Jackson Bailey Perkins, Tucker Collins, Mark Cruz Ducharme, Mason Davis, who's not with us this evening, Kevin Desjardins, Cole Dezan, Zenner DeMario, Logan Goodwin, Brett Hebert, Madison Langtang, Donovan Noyes, <laughs> Corey Potwin, Alexander Puglio, Josh Sains the second, and Jude Wilson. All students have completed their certifications in OSHA 10, and uh, they've all passed the NCCR core curriculum. And this year, for the first time in the history of my time here as the plumbing and heating teacher, all students passed the first year apprenticeship examination. And the following students passed the NCCR first year of the plumbing curriculum. Jackson Bailey Perkins, Logan Goodwin, and Brett Hebert. So Alex Puglio is my student of the program this year. Alex has distinguished himself this year as one of the best students who have completed CVCC's plumbing and heating course ever. Alex took on every challenge that came his way this year and will be a highly valuable employee when he starts work. He was quick to help any and all students with problems and his positive and respectful attitude influenced the class all year. Jude Wilson is my scholar of the program. Jude has been an exemplary student in plumbing and heating this year. He has strong academic and technical skills and has been respectful, inquisitive, and helpful to other students all year. Jude likes to be challenged and will make an excellent plumber. Congratulations to everyone in plumbing and heating. Once again, pay no attention to the stage movement. This time I'd like to invite Mr. Wayne Tazi, Cooperative Education Coordinator, to introduce his students. The Cooperative Education Program extends academic and technical training beyond the classroom by providing opportunities for students to apply 
their learning in actual workplace setting. The program is a collaboration between the Central Vermont Career Center and over 150 local and regional employers and is designed to offer paid or unpaid career-related experiences that build on and expand a student's skills. Whether the goal is to develop self-confidence, employability skills, or advanced job placement, the cooperative education career-based curriculum encourages students to put their education to work. All of these students <coughs> have worked above and beyond what we think of terms of the regular school day. So far to date, three of the electrical students have all taken and passed their level two apprenticeship uh, test. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> One student has passed his level two plumbing uh, apprenticeship test, and the other six are taking it this week. <laughs> 17 students have accepted full-time positions with their employers, three are going on the college, and five pursuing other opportunities. This year, the Cobb class combined has worked over 28,000 hours and has made over $430,000. I'd like to recognize Cole Benoit from Pro Heat, Jillian Bija working at Mayo Healthcare, Austin Blaze, Twin City Subaru, Anderson Boyd, Perry Service Station. Josh Dunkling, Norway and Sons. Hayden Farnham, Capital GMC and Buick. Julian Fowler, Tucker Hill Inn. Sabrina Gallison, Yellow Mustard Cafe. Caden Giroux, Berry EMS and Waterbury Ambulance Services. Ryan Glassford, Peak Mechanical. McGarry Gomes, Delicate Decadence. Cameron Govey, Bourne's Energy. Lacey Green, Cold Hollow Cider Mill. Leland Kennedy, Maple Corner Woodworks. Caleb Lamson, Norway and Sons. Monotti, Merrill Mechanical, Ned McCarthy, Peak Mechanical, Greer Peliquin, Omadi's Deli and Cafe, Ryan Sayers, 802 Honda, Zach Slayton, Thomas Mechanical, Max Spaulding, Norway and Sons, Keegan Stevens, SD Ireland, Sam Wilcox, New England Air Systems, and Tanner Woodard, Ward's Mechanical. The student of the program is Lacey Green. Lacey has excelled this year juggling work and school. Lacey is responsible, motivated, and is planning on attending Johnson & Wells for baking and pastry arts next year. And the scholar of the program is Leland Kennedy. Leland has also excelled in his uh, job this year. He's responsible, communicates well, he's engaged in class each week, and a help to other students. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of you in co-op, and thank you once again to all of our employers. At this time, at this time I'd like to introduce our final student speaker for the evening. Zoe Barbero Menzel.
Hello. Um, this was initially an essay, and I actually won the scholarship that I had written the essay for. So I had um, just like changed it a little to make it into a speech. My name is Zoe Bella Barbero Menzel. Ever since I entered this world, I've always been focused on one thing, other people. I used to love watching adults and absorbing all the information around me. It never occurred to me that one day we would all be just like them. Growing up is one of the weirdest things I've ever experienced. There is so much pain and suffering, but at the same time, there is an abundance of growth, love, and energy in our world each day. Learning all the secrets to how I want to live my best life, asking meaningful questions, talking with elders, and grounding myself with the earth are a few of the practices I've started recently on my journey to a life of pure fulfillment. From the day I was born, I knew I had a purpose. My life has not been easy. Good things in life come naturally, but so do bad. And at times, you have to be patient. There is always a plan in place. All of my hardships I have been through in my life show me something different about myself. Things I will no longer let affect me, control me, or denominate my life that once made me feel like the whole world was going to crumble around me are reasons why I am the person I am today. Growing is a ginormous cycle, and as hard as it feels sometimes, it is also one of the most rewarding feelings ever. To have something figuratively suffocate you for years and learn how to turn that into a, lear into a learning experience is one of the hardest and most empowering things I've ever put myself through. And I want to help others to see that they are strong, and specific events don't make them who they are. School has never been something that came very easily to me. The subjects made sense, but I could never seem to apply myself the way I truly believed that I could. I struggled with this my whole life until my sophomore year of high school when COVID began. Everything went remote, and that's when I realized my learning could be even worse than it was previously. It wasn't until my junior year when we were back in school in person that I realized I need to take initiative if I want my future to be the way I have planned it. I talked with my guidance counselor and she suggested a technical school, which I had never previously thought about. To this day, I am so grateful for the recommendation and support that she gave me. Going to the Central Vermont Career Center was one of the best decisions of my life and has changed me not only as a learner, but as a whole person. My instructor and the other teachers at VCC are so caring and want you to get the learning you deserve. They work with you through things and motivate you to truly believe in yourself the way they believe in you. It is such an amazing community that I'm so grateful to have had a chance to be a part of. I would recommend this school to any of my friends or peers in a heartbeat. I've always wanted to help people and have a bigger purpose in this world, but it wasn't until I was in medical professions that I realized nursing is absolutely where I'm meant to be. I am currently working as a medical assistant starting yesterday and I plan to work towards and earn my LPN and continue on to my RN license eventually, and I will do everything that it takes to get there. And I also just want to say, I didn't even write this, but um, my class and all, just all the girls in my class are like my, some of my best friends, and they're like my second family. This school is great. Thank you. Thank you, Zoe. Jody Emerson will present our final award this evening, the Outstanding Student of Central Vermont Career Center. I hope you all are listening, especially if you're coming back next year, because this could be your award next year, right? This student was chosen by the faculty, staff, and administrative team. The student will receive a $1,500 award and a plaque commemorating this honor. honor. The nominating criteria for this honor consists of a student's instructor's recommendation, maintaining a proficient grade average, having excellent attendance, and exhibiting a strong interest in the technical field that he or she is exploring. The outstanding student of the center is a proven and exceptional student who has successfully combined academics with applied learning. This student has achieved some of our highest honors as well as attended three programs at CVCC. Some of the student's achievements include that the student has grown remarkably in strength and character while here at CVCC and worked hard to improve themselves and the school community. This student's sense of humor, creativity, ability to work through challenges with intention, 
Make this student someone to honor and celebrate. The student has been an essential worker through employment in our community and worked in their industry throughout the entire COVID-19 pandemic. The student has achieved both national certi certification and Vermont state licensure. The student won gold in their CTSO competition last year, and the student earned their ACT Work Keys National Career Readiness Certificate at the gold level on their first attempt. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and join me in congratulating this year's Outstanding Student of the Center, Caden Giroux of the Emergency <laughs> Services Program. This now concludes the 2021-2022 Central Vermont Career Center Award Ceremony. I would like to thank everyone for attending this evening. Have a good night and a safe and healthy summer. Thank you.